Hi cow friends, welcome back to my channel, Outrageous Curls, where we get the curls popping and we keep it popping, and look at my curls popping. Response? I think you know, Dean. <laughs> and I hope your curls are popping too. In today's video, I'll be sharing a compare and contrast of these leave-in conditioners, the Shea Moisture Marshmallow Root Leave-In and the Kinky Curly Knot Today. Keep watching to see more. First things first, I wash my curls using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Clarifying Shampoo and I love this shampoo. This is great at getting rid of all of my product buildup without stripping any of my natural oils. Then I followed up with the Cantu Deep Treatment Mask and this is one of my staples if you haven't seen any of my previous videos. I will always go back to this one as it's great at defining and moisturising my curls. You can leave this in your hair for 30 minutes or overnight. I prefer to deep condition overnight, especially during the winter period. Comment below, how long do you like to deep condition your hair for? As I know this is up for debate and I'd love to hear about everyone's thoughts and opinions on this. And here are the two leave-in conditioners I'll be using for my compare and contrast. The Kinky Curly Not Today and the Shea Moisture Sugar Cane Extract and Meadow Foam Seed Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment. Oh my god, that is a mouthful. <laughs> I am super excited to do this compare and contrast with these products as they have the same main ingredient which is marshmallow extract which is great for slip for detangling curly hair. And here is the styling gel, the Camille Rose Curl Maker. This has to be the best, I swear to god, the best gel I have ever used for my curly hair. It's absolutely amazing. If you have not tried this already, you are seriously missing out. It is great for defining my curls and it doesn't cause too much shrinkage either, which is a great bonus. <laughs> so after I've rinsed out the deep conditioner, I wrap my curls in a microfiber towel and I leave this on my head for about 5-10 to 10 minutes. For this compare and contrast, I will divide my hair into two sections first and then I'll divide it again because I like to work into subsections as I've got quite thick hair and I find it more manageable this way and it's also for my peace of mind ensuring that I'm moisturising every hair strand. Also make sure your hair is still damp to ensure the best results when moisturising your curls with a leave-in conditioner as your curls will soak up the moisture of the product this way and on top of that water is great for keeping your curls hydrated. And here is the first leave-in conditioner, the Kinky Curly Not Today. If you have not tried this yet, oh my gosh, this leave-in conditioner is a must. It is great for detangling your curly hair, especially if you have very knotty hair, like I do sometimes. This leave-in conditioner is the answer. It is a really good consistency, and it's not sticky either, and it soaks into your curls so well. This is perfect for all porosity hair types, but of course, if you have high porosity hair, it's best to ensure that you're also applying like something else on top, like an oil or something, as the moisture easily leaves your hair if you have hair, high porosity hair so you've got to lay your hair quite well and very quickly to prevent any moisture leaving your curls. And look at the way my fingers glide through my hair like butter, so nice and easy. This product is absolutely amazing. It's not easily accessible in the UK so I've linked down one place I do like to get it from for a reasonable price. Once I've applied the leave-in conditioner, I'll be following up with the Camille Rose Curl Maker and like I said before, this is one of the best styling gels ever and the texture of the product as you saw there is quite thick so you don't need a lot a little goes a long way and look at that curl definition right there it's just so good and I repeat this same process on the rest of the side of this hair using just the kinky curly not today and the Camille Rose curl maker and of course if my curls start to feel a bit dry I make sure I hydrate it straight away with some water I keep calling that awkward face when I detangle my curls. <laughs> God, so awkward. I don't know why I do that. Does anyone else have a 
the tangling face like that or is it just me? <laughs> It is time for the other side of the curls using the Shea Moisture Sugarcane Extract and Metal Foam Seed Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment. My gosh, I can't believe I've just said it all over again. I'm just going to shorten it down next time. But I love that the Shea Moisture brand shows you all the products as you can see here. They share the, that there's no BS ingredients in there. And the product as you can see it's a spray bottle which is quite good and it's got a safety cap on there and <laughs> okay I was not expecting that to happen <laughs> it just like sprayed everywhere just there okay round two here we go so I already made sure that the safety cap is removed all nice and easy and I'm just gonna apply it directly to the right curls but as you can see there's a little bit of awkwardness and difficulty trying to get the product out nice and easy it's got a bit of a jet spray, so it's very so it's very messy I found when I tried to just apply it to my curls. So what I've been able to do was just spray some into my hand. I had to like cut my hands in a certain way, and then I was just able to um, rub it between my hands and then apply it to my curls. The smell of the product though, it's quite flowery and light. It's quite a nice smell, and I felt like, again, because the product was quite hard to get out, and applied to my curls. I feel like I wasn't able to moisturize my curls well with this product and as you can see here compared to using the Kinky Curly Knot today I've got a little bit of difficulty to tangle in my curls and it's not as smooth and easy finger detangling my curls with this product but I do say though it did give my curls a bit of good definition here which is quite good I'm quite happy with that and then once I've applied the leave-in conditioner I followed up with the Camille Rose Curl Maker here we go curl friends all done and I'm so happy with the way my curls look at the moment here and I thought to get the best results I'm going to let my curls air dry for five hours and I'll show you guys the results so here I am back after about five hours of letting my curls air dry and this hair shrinkage is surreal does anyone else get shrinkage this extreme comment below as I am curious to find out your thoughts on curly hair shrinkage so this side is the Kinky Curly Not Today hair side and it's got some really good curl definition, nice bounce and the curls move quite seamlessly. And on the other side is the Shea Moisture Leave-In Treatment. My curls look a little bit frizzy, it does have good bounce though but not as much as the Kinky Curly Not Today. 
The Kinky Curly Knot today was so nice and easy to apply to my curls compared to the Shea Moisture Leave-In Treatment. I had a bit of difficulty with the Jet Spray. I thought it would be more misty as the consistency of the product is quite liquidy. And the product is aimed for all hair types so not just curly hair which is quite good. But I didn't really find this product really moisturising so I don't feel like this product is good for my sort of curl type. Whereas the Kinky Curly Knot today is definitely really good for curly hair. It really moisturises my curls, it detangles my curls and helps define. I would say the Shea Moisture Leave-In Treatment is aimed for finer, looser curls. And if you have curly hair like mine, I think the Kinky Curly Knot today is probably better compared to the Shea Moisture Leave-In Treatment. And that is it! Comment below your thoughts on these leave-in conditioners. Have you tried them out before? Let me know as I'd love to hear about your experiences. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for my curly hair uploads. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the curly hair fun. I hope you guys have a lovely week. Keep it fun, keep it curly, stay true, and see you in the next video. Bye!